to the National Guard family in the truest sense of the word. Thank you not only this year, but the years that have passed uh, since 2005 and the years to come. It has put to good use, uh, it has managed the right way, and, and I've, I've seen a lot of families benefit from it. But if I can real, I'll be very brief and I'll hand up to Colonel Dan for his kind of personal perspective about bioscopics here. Um, a lot of you are, are either retirees yourself of the National Guard or familiar with the National Guard, and you are supportive of the National Guard and the entire military family, obviously, my proximity to you. And we appreciate that. And I know you have an understanding for, for a lot of what these guys do, and I know you're familiar with your local army, Sorry to go. Uh, back in the here, uh, full time, uh, Reagan's NCO here at the local armory. We really appreciate what you do. And you're supportive of them and supportive of the, the one weekend a month, the, the reservist life, uh, the full time job, and then the service. But what I sometimes want to make sure that I, I know uh, that all of you kind of appreciate with today's National Guard that in the last 45 days, your National Guard has served on the southwest border here in America, uh, Texas, Arizona, and other uh, assisting border control, drug interdiction, immigration issues. Your National Guard, their civil support team, which handles uh, sensitive chemicals and, and unknown materials, they swept the SEC championship game before that game started. They were called in by the World Congress Center in the Georgia Dome to secure that location before the game started. They didn't invite me. They responded to Hurricane Sandy with, with two Chinooks helicopters out of, out of Hunter Airfield, approximately 25 people, some of which were members of the aforementioned CST, Civil Support Team. Uh, they, they were called into action uh, uh, as, as the event was unwinding in its opening days. They took part, thanks to, the, to Governor Deal, in a major job fair that helped employ not only veterans of the National Guard, but veterans of the entire military uh, family here in Georgia and their spouses. The Georgia National Guard has an agro development team that goes into Afghanistan and other theaters to have, help them build a trade around their crops, trained by UGA to go into some, some agriculture development team. I don't know a lot of people even know that exists. All the while, we've maintained around, in that same 45 day time period, around 600 people deployed overseas, around 500 plus in the hopper, if you will, training for mobilization within the next couple of months. And all the while knowing that your uh, 48 brigade has a pending uh, deployment on into late in the next year that weighs heavy on their minds, not only the soldiers and their preparation, but the families. And obviously that number will change on how many people go. There's obviously sensitive security uh, you know, things there that you don't want to really express too much. But, but I'll go ahead and tell this community, that is going to be a very large number that will have a statewide impact on that future deployment on into late October 13th. So we manage a lot of kind of different day-to-day -day affairs. We're very diverse. We have a language lab. We have military intelligence training uh, centers across the state. I love that, that the reserve mindset, there, there's a unit that we have out of Fort Gordon in Augusta that's a very sensitive intelligence unit that collaborates with the National Security Agency and others. What I find very interesting about that unit is that unit is comprised of 42 people, 38, 34 of which, 34 of which are traditional guards one weekend a month. So that suggests that, again, the, the uniqueness of the reserve component, the reserve guard component, is that someone that has a day job, whether it's teaching 10th grade history, whether it's being a member of their local chamber, and then one week in a month when their nation asks more of them, they're advanced intelligence specialists collaborating with some of our nation's uh, most sensitive intelligence experts. And I think that is a microcosm of what makes our organization uh, unique so uh, we're proud of what we do. Thank you for your support of us. Thank you for your, for your support of our counterparts at Moody. Uh, it is a statewide effort when we advocate in Washington or at the State House 
uh, your National Guard doesn't carry a, a, a sentiment of cut down, not us. What's good for uh, Moody or Benny or Stewart is good for the National Guard. And when they suffer, we suffer. And I want to assure you that we all we all recognize that. Uh, if I can't, I, I probably.